Well, happy Rosh Hashanah. Today is Rosh Hashanah, just a Jewish New Year. And a lot of times on Rosh Hashanah, my great-grandmother, Bubba, Grandma Bessie, my mom used to make homemade applesauce. It's a very beautiful Jewish holiday, and I was actually born Jewish. And I'm going to peel this apple, folks, okay? You want it nice and peeled. I have a lot of memories of Rosh Hashanah. You said, I'm trying to remember, I don't know whether we went to temple or not, because I was born Jewish. Of course, I, I converted to Christianity later on, but I was definitely born Jewish, so I do know about Rosh Hashanah. It's a, it's a Jewish holiday. It comes once a year. It's always this time of the year. And my whole family is Jewish. For, folks, you're not going to believe this. It went down to the 40s last night. I'm still trying to warm up. I go into my bedroom. My bedroom is like an icebox. All right, we're going to start slicing these apples up. I'm honoring my family because they're all Jewish. You know, my mom and dad are Jewish. Oh, we've got a little peel on here. Okay, not a big deal. I'll just try to cut this off. Here we go. These are delicious apples. Okay. Now, applesauce is absolutely fantastic if you make it the right way. Right, now we're going to cut the peel off. Keep here. What we're going to do is we're going to cook this on the stove for a few minutes. You have not lived here had homemade applesauce, folks. I'm telling you, it's always served around Rosh Hashanah. I try to be fair, you know, like just, you know, be fair to everybody and be fair to every holiday that comes up, you know. I think Yom Kippur's not far off. They, they usually come together, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. I'm not sure when Yom Kippur's, I will have to look it up. Probably next week. We're going to cut up another apple. These are all red delicious apples, folks. And like I said, applesauce is well known on Rosh Hashanah. So is um, oh, some other honey dish. I'm not sure what it is. Honey and apples. That's what it is. I don't know if we have honey or not. I doubt we have honey in the house. We should really always have honey because you don't know when you're going to get sore throat. But that's another thing that, that we used to make was honey and apple. We won't have enough apples in here, folks. All right. Like I said, Rosh Hashanah is a Jewish New Year. I'm not sure what the year is, folks. I just don't know. All right, I'm going to add in a half a cup of sugar, a little bit less than a half. You don't want to over-sweeten it either because it won't come out too thin. Let me put the rest back in here. Too much sugar is no good. It could be too sweet, and you don't want that. We're going to mix it together. I'm going to add in about a little bit less than a half a cup. Less than a cup. All right, we're going to cook this for about a half an hour. Then we'll go to this next step. We're going to mix it up about a half an hour. Now, we have delicious apples. Now, what I'm going to do is also for Rosh Hashanah first. Here we go. Now, we're going to mix this together, and I'm going to add in some cinnamon in about a minute. Here we go. Applesauce. This is my little honey jug. Always use a little bit on the Rosh Hashanah. You dip your apple into it. It's very simple. I don't even have to show you how to do it. You take a piece of apple and you dip it into the, and you dip it into honey. It's delicious. I'm gonna grab some cinnamon. Yeah, here we go. Let me grab my spoon. Yeah, Rosh Hashanah is a very sweet holiday. Did you know that, folks? Nice brown apple sauce. Look, here we go. You don't want to add any more sugar into this, folks. Believe me. A little bit more, and then we'll have delicious applesauce. Here we go. And here we have delicious homemade applesauce. And on a Rosh Hashanah, and here's a little honey jug. We dip it. It's called Apples and Honey from Deborah's Home Country Kitchen. Have a great day. Please subscribe to my wonderful YouTube channel.